Well, my first experience with live music was probably going to uh, a perfect circle. I mean, I've been to many local shows, but my first real experience was going to a perfect circle at the Universal Amphitheater. And there I saw my my idol, Maynard James Keenan, and the experience just changed me to where I think it separated just local shows to more arenas and stadiums, and the experience was just so amazing. And But it's two different type of feels. I mean, you get one that's more of a community, and then you just get one that's purely based off of just performance. But that really just changed me, and I, I went with my best friend at the time, so it was a really good experience. Well, the energy in the show was pretty much amazing because the Perfect Circle fans and Tool fans are very insane about their love for the band. And anytime you just went around another fan, you could just feel the energy and the good times. And that really brought music around for me because you just felt a part of something and it felt really good and it felt really right to just be around the people that you were vibing with and could relate a lot to. So it was an awesome experience. The first time I went to a concert, I was in high school, my sophomore year. I started just barely getting into metal music and I saw one of my favorite bands personally, which was Misery Signals. And um, it's just crazy, like the vibe and the energy. It was at the Palmdale Vets, Vets Hall at the time. And I don't know, I just like, I remember watching these like big bands and I was like, man, I want to like do something like that. I want to be like that. And at the time I didn't really play drums or anything or play instruments. So my brother, he got me into this that type of music, metal music. Um, what made me go was him and he kind of like pushed me to go. I was kind of nervous, didn't know what I was getting myself into, but um, yeah, he's definitely like paved my way like music wise. Um, he played drums got me into drums, so. Seeing my brother play drums, like, definitely inspired me. He was in a metal band as well. Um, like, the drums were just sitting there in the garage, so I would pick it up and, like, play, like, Green Day songs, or try to, at least. So, yeah, pretty recently, you know, the energy just sort of part sparked the same sort of, I guess, flashback, if that's how we put it, to, to how that first show I experienced was like, oh, this is, like, the same vibe, but 10 years later, you know, like, or over 10 years later and I want to say now you know especially seeing bands like All Eyes, um, Sissy Fit I guess well I guess they're not really local but um, Life for Life you know bands like that mm -hmm. definitely bring like the same energy. Funny enough like you know when I was a kid uh, my parents never used to let me watch MTV so I would like sneak watch it all the time and I would always like catch Fall Out Boy on there. And I just remember like every music video they had was just them having fun. Like, I don't know. And, and I just like, I remember as a kid, I was like, that's what I want to do when I get older. And so it was mostly that, and, you know, my brother, like growing up with the same music, seeing him in the band playing drums, like, yeah, it was just like, I don't know. It was just like, I was living in, I don't know if this sounds dramatic, but I was living like in an era, like, you know what I mean? Like of, of a certain specific music, you know, your 80s and 90s and mm -hmm. types of music. And I was like, oh, like, but this is it right now, you know? It definitely put a name to this town, you know, seeing all those like major bands, the ones that I love so much. Um, I don't know, I, I guess like growing up in the AV, like a lot of people don't seem to like it that much, but I guess that made it better and made us noticeable. You know, so everyone just like, doesn't really either know about Panel Valley or they just pass through it or so. Mm. I mean, you know, at that time it was like, it was new at least, or it seemed like something new. And I think everyone wanted to jump on that and be in a band. Like, I, I'm pretty sure like I wasn't the only one, you know? I mean, I think, I think the AV is getting back to that right now. I feel like it's just weird. I, it just sort of died down a little bit and it was kind of there, but I don't know. It just seems like the hype is coming again. It's like, as if, you know, it seems like music is kind of unpredictable. And like, it seems like it just goes in waves and circles almost. And I don't know, it just seems like the stuff that inspired me is coming back. And I don't know, it's a great feeling. Like, 
seems like people are really enjoying it. You know, it's about the youth now, you know? So right now, like, um, I'm definitely learning a lot of new drumming styles and I don't know, like, it feels good. Like, you know, I'm almost 30 years old now. And, uh, it seems that it seems like, I don't know. I have like hope of like, I'm not just like stagnant and I'm willing to like learn new things. And right now I'm in a band called hollow points and it's the most fun I've ever had in any band. Um, and like, you know, we're playing all these shows and like, we're getting all these like, like positive statements and comments about us. And it feels really good. You know, I, I recorded drums for the first time and I don't know, I just feel like to me, like, to me, life is about like creating and like, if you're not creating, like, I don't know, maybe that sounds too blunt, but it's, it's just like, to me, like, it's almost like we we're made to create and it's just my opportunity to do just that. And I want to keep doing it. Yeah, you know, Hollow Points is making me like look to the future a lot more. And I definitely say like, like I said, I'm almost 30 years old. Um, I've always wanted that dream of like being, you know, a known musician, you know, you know, with like other, with my friends, you know, just like those Fall Out Boy music videos, you know, just them having fun going on tour and stuff like that. To me, that's what life is about. And it's about inspiring others and it's about creating. So, and I mean, I don't want to be here forever. So, so we'll see what the future holds. I have nothing but positive vibes, right? So yeah, it, uh, it impacts my life hundred percent because growing up super obsessed with tool nine inch nails, the fan base is super insane. I think it, they've established themselves to where the fans are just a big community and they're all just seeing each other with the shirt on and they're automatically best friends. And it's kind of just the same with now local shows because instead of like that t-shirt, you just have these friends and this energy and the community inside your, you know, your city. That's just a feeling that's just amazing. And the energy is just, you can't replace it with just how much, you know, fun, fun and joy that it just brings. You. Growing up in the AV, my first experiences were fun but also a little insane because we had the cedar center and a few and uh, all my friends were punkers so we just went to a lot of ska shows and everybody was always getting way too drunk or fighting or doing something to where like the next few weeks or shows were canceled and but the energy was so amazing that you can't get anywhere else i mean even if I wasn't a fan of the band, just the energy that they brought were so amazing. And just, it was a, it was a excuse to have a good time with your friends and kind of just be a, a little kid and have fun. And then it just made the experience a whole lot better. How I interact is pretty much being part of the, I guess the elders now. I just know a lot of the friends who have stopped. They went and had normal lives where they've gotten real jobs. And now they're coming kind of, they're kind of coming back full circle where they're getting back into music. You know, I think COVID and the pandemic really set a tone for having us miss that energy that shows bring and the localness of just music. And, you know, we were deprived for a year or two and now we got a nice venue to have in Palmdale. And I think that we're really excited about the future and local shows and bands reuniting and bringing the same fun energy that they had years ago. And, you know, everybody grows up and wants to do music in a sense, you know, whether it's hip hop, rock or metal. And it's, it's nice to see the energy back and the dream still alive. And it's nice to have a community in your own city to have that kind of be an awesome part, a thing to be a part of. <laughs>